they turned it around a bit as Coffey misses the technical free throw by going 8-0 and in the bubble. You could see things were starting to change. Young talent. And then they added Chris Paul and Jay Crowder. And this has been a dream season for the Phoenix Suns. And it's not over yet. Both coaches emptying the benches. So much emotion for Chris Paul. He's going to be in the Hall of Fame someday. And now he's going to be able to play for the NBA championship. And it's a different level. I can remember Larry Bird, the great Larry Bird, coming to Indiana Pace, a coach, and talked to Reggie Miller and myself and said, I want you guys to get there. It's a whole different level. You deserve this experience. And Chris Paul certainly does. It will be just the third NBA Finals appearance for Phoenix. Made in 1976, but the last one in 1993. As Coffee floats it in, and you know, I'm sure a lot of Suns fans thinking of Paul Westfall right now. Westfall was a great player on the 76 finals team. He was the head coach of the 93 finals team and passed away in January. One of the great Hall of Famers, one of the great gentlemen, big part of the Suns history. And now a third Suns team will make the NBA finals. As class of guys you will find. And Monty Williams actually went and visited him prior to his uh, death. Just a class act and a wonderful man. And what an impressive performance here in the clincher. Chris Paul back to back rounds with brilliant performances. Again, he had 37 in the clincher against Denver in the second round, 41 here in the clincher in the conference finals. Robert Sarver, the owner, and a disappointing ending to what was such an impressive playoff run for Paul George and the Clippers. And again, the injuries too much to overcome, as were the Suns too much to overcome. Carter knocks down the shot. And what a turnaround offensively after struggling last couple of games against an excellent Clipper defense. They explode for 130 points, 56% shooting from the field. Oturo's shot won't go. A follow misses, but a whistle and a foul. And they will have home court advantage in the finals, regardless if it's Milwaukee or Atlanta. That series tied at two games apiece in the East. Again, ironic that Chris Paul makes his first finals by beating the team that he played for for six years and a team that was part of a lot of heartbreaking playoff losses. Coming up next, Sports Center with Scott Van Pelt. Live post game reaction. Plus, how Giannis and Trey Young's injuries changed the Eastern Conference Finals. Now the best of losses, but a time to celebrate as he will go to his first NBA Finals. Willie Green, former NBA player and assistant coach. And as each one more, backcourt violation, and now the Clippers will just dribble it out. Another big road win for this team. They've had a, so many of them. Game four against the Lakers, games three and four against Denver, and now games four and six here against the Clippers. They're done. The Phoenix Suns, for the first time in 28 years, are going back to the NBA Finals. And you love to see this respect at the end of a very hard fought playoff series. And you look at Ty Lue, a former player. You look at Chauncey Billups, a former player. They understand Chris Paul's march to try to get to the NBA Finals and be a champion. You know how hard that is? And they, 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 they're acknowledging his greatness and his pursuit. A winning team. And here in this playoff run, and here in the Western Conference Finals, they had a lot of help from a lot of people. Chris Paul acknowledging Little Wayne and the support that he has shown, the love he has shown to the Phoenix Suns, believing in them, supporting them, being around them. He wants them to be part of this celebration. 40 tonight with 22 points. But they got Jay Crowder with a big performance. He had 19. He came back strong, was magnificent against Denver, then missed two games in this series after testing positive for COVID. 
struggled a little bit in the first couple of games back. But a Let's go to Rachel. Chris Paul. Oh, Chris, I know you're all over the place right now. Chris Paul is in the NBA Finals. What do you think when you hear that sentence? Man, it sounds damn good. Damn good. It's been a lot of work, man. A lot of work. Going to a new team. Everybody staying, of course. That team fight hard. T. Lou, unbelievable coach. Chauncey Billups, my big brother. So many ties to that team. But damn, this feels good. Chris, in this game, there was a point the Clippers cut it to seven. You then scored 14 of 16 points on your way to 41 for the game. What kind of mission were you on? Don't lose. Don't lose mission. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit going on. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I just want to get over there with my team, Rach. Respect. Appreciate you. I'll talk to you when I give you the trophy. How about that? Back to you, Mike. You can just, you can hear the emotion in his voice. Again, it's taken him 16 years. One of the premier point guards throughout his entire NBA career. Now at age 36. I remember a few years ago, people were starting to say he was on his decline. What he did last year was magnificent with OKC just getting them into the playoffs. And then this year comes to a Phoenix Suns team that had not been to the playoffs since 2010, and here they are in the NBA Finals. Every single one of these young players talk about the impact that he's had. So now they're...